That crippled cruise ship is finally ashore. 4,200 people, including 14 Canadians, were happy to get off. But they are still fuming after spending five days living in squalor. One passenger has already filed a lawsuit, likely the first of many. But it's unlikely Carnival will pay for its failures, at least not in court. Brian Moore reports. The Carnival Triumph, safely ashore. Finally, reason to celebrate for passengers of a four-day Caribbean journey that turned into a week-long ordeal. It was uh, the cruise from hell. The ship was carrying 4,200 people, 14 of them Canadians. An engine fire on Sunday cut the ship's power, but what made life unbearable was the lack of toilets an overflow of raw sewage. Imagine a porta potty with 4,000 people on it that hasn't flushed in four days and mix in a little spoiled food. And clearly, we failed in this particular case. Carnival CEO apologized on camera and aboard the ship. I'd like to personally thank you for your patience, understanding, and cooperation throughout the last five days. But passengers wanted to get off and on with their lives. Never again in my life will I ever even walk around a cruise ship. I'm done. I'm done. While Carnival is giving passengers a full refund and a free cruise, it's not even required to do that under maritime law. But images like these aren't exactly helping the Carnival brand. They can take their free trip and you put it where the sun doesn't shine. These people don't know what the hell they're doing. Almost universally, though, passengers are praising Carnival employees aboard the ship. They just smiled and sang and danced, and they were awesome. Once off the ship, passengers boarded a caravan of buses headed for hotels in Houston and New Orleans. In a final insult to injury, Clark Jones's bus broke down. I don't know. Life gives you lemons. I guess you have to eat the lemons sometimes. <laughs> Safely in New Orleans this morning, passenger Anna Ward was enjoying a luxury, running water. I just can't get clean enough. I feel disgusting. A happy ending to an unfortunate adventure at sea. Brian Moore, Global News, Washington.